Hello everyone, welcome back to Yarns and Fins. I am Kay and for today's video, I'll be sharing with you how to crochet this top. If you also want a tutorial for the cardigan, video link is in the description box below. I'll be working with the size extra small, but you can customize it to your size as you get into the video. So let's start. A written pattern for this design will also be available once it's posted. So we will make the cups first and to begin, make a slip knot and chain a chain that stretches from your under bust to your bust point. I made a total of 10 chains for my size. Next step, on the second chain from hook, make a single crochet. To make single crochet, insert your hook and yarn over, pull through. Now you have two loops on your hook. Yarn over and pull through all loops. Single crochet each chain till last. Now on the last chain, make 3 single crochets, same chain. You can add a stitch marker on the second single crochet so you won't get confused for our next rows on which is your center stitch. Then continuing on the opposite side of the chains, single crochet in each chain still last. Including the three single crochets on your last chain, both sides should have the same count of single crochets. After our first row, it should look like this. And for our second row, chain one that does not count as a stitch, then flip your work and starting on the first stitch, single crochet until you reach your stitch marker. On the stitch with marker, make 3 single crochets and then don't forget to put back the stitch marker on the second stitch of that 3 single crochet. After that, continue single crochet in each stitches till last. After finishing your row 2, here's how it should look like. For our next rows, just repeat the same pattern on row 2 until you reach your desired coverage for the cup. And of course, make 2 of this cup using the same pattern. After your second cup, don't cut your yarn yet. Now chain 1 and working at the bottom of the cup, single crochet in each stitches across.
continuing to the other cup single crochet in each stitches at the bottom don't forget to make sure that the cups are both facing the right side After our first row of single crochet, chain 1, flip your work, the chain 1 does not count as a stitch, and then work single crochet in each stitches across. Then repeat that pattern for 19 more rows, a total of 21 rows of single crochet. After 19 rows, here's how it should look like and working on this side, chain 1 and single crochet in each stitches across until you reach the cup. Here on the cup, single crochet the next 8 stitches. After that, chain 1 and flip your work. The chain 1 does not count as a stitch. And now we will work a decrease. And to work a decrease, we will start our first single crochet on the second stitches. And then continuing a uh, single crochet on the next stitches till last. Now for row 3, chain 1 and flip your work. Again, the chain 1 does not count as a stitch. And then starting on the first stitch, single crochet across. At the end of row 3, we will again make a decrease and to make a decrease at the end of the row, insert your hook on the second to last stitch, yarn over and pull through, insert your hook on the very last stitch, yarn over and pull through, and yarn over pull through all 3 loops. And then for row 4, repeat the same pattern on row 2. And then continue alternating pattern on row 2 and 3. And then you only have 8 stitches left. Once you only have 8 stitches left, add 90 more rows without decrease and it should look like this. Once you're done, chain 1 to secure and cut the yarn. Now we will work on the other side of the piece. Since we ended on the 8 stitches of the cup on the other side, on this side we will start on the 8 stitches of the cup. After you have attached your yarn, chain 1 that does not count as a stitch and then work your first single crochet on the same stitch 
and then single crochet each stitches across. Continue with the same pattern on the other side. Your decrease at the beginning and at the end of the row should always be on the edge that is closer to the cup. As you can see here, I'm at the end of row 2 and it is closer to the cup. So we will work our decrease here. The beginning of row 3 for this side is closer to the cup. So again, we will make a decrease. Again, continue the same pattern until you have until you only have 8 stitches left and then add 90 rows without decrease. After that, your last stitch should end up at the bottom here. And now we will work single crochet on all sides of the piece. To start our edging, chain 1 and then Continuing at the bottom edge of the piece, single crochet in each stitches across. single crocheting everything at the bottom edge of the piece we are at the next corner and then uh, here's our last single crochet to continue to this side chain one and then start your first single crochet on the same stitch same pattern will be used on all corners of the piece. So here's another corner, last single crochet, chain one. And then start your first single crochet on the same stitch and then continue. Continue single crochet until you reach the peak of the cup or the center stitch of the cup. And then I'll meet you there and we'll make the strap. So I'm here at the peak of the cup and to make the strap, single crochet on the center stitch. And then make a chain that is 30 inch long. Once you have your 30 inch long chains, slip stitch each chain all the way back. Finish the strap single crochet on the same center stitch. And then continue single crochet until you reach the peak of the other cup and from there work another strap using the same pattern. Once you're done with your strap on the other cup, continue single crochet as edging until you finish single crocheting all sides of the piece. When you're done with your edging, use your darning needle to secure and weave your loose end.
just like that we are again done with our top i hope you enjoyed this video thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe